Welcome back once again on our Tuesday evening. Take a look at our first alert weather headlines blowing in the wind gust of 30 to 40 plus miles per hour for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll break that down for you in just a second. A quick warm up as well. Along those winds are going to be out of the south, helping to drive those numbers up. Some much needed rain chances are in the forecast. The rain is needed. It doesn't look like it's going to be very much, but we'll take whatever we can get at this point. Coldest morning lows this morning. This is Crystal, North Dakota, 15 degrees. Gardner, Leonard at 16 degrees. See tens across, teens across the board there, I should say, including Sabre, Minnesota, and Oaks, North Dakota at 19 degrees. Nothing like that this morning. Check out this photo. Frostbow near Viking, Minnesota. Thank you, Becca. Had a little moisture in the lower level there. The sun hitting it again bringing us a beautiful picture against that blue sky background. Uh, right now we've got 52 degrees in Fargo, 52 in Moorhead as well. South wind at nine miles per hour. Those breezes, the winds out of the south are going to pick up a little bit overnight tonight. That's going to bring warmer temperatures tomorrow morning and certainly much warmer temperatures tomorrow afternoon compared to today. 50 degrees in Grand Forks. Numbers across the board have got upper 40s to lower 50s. First alert forecast. Here's what we've got for you. Watch these wind bars. That you see the blue there that indicates wind speeds about 10, 15, 20 miles per hour. Once we get the green as 25, 30, 35. So we watch overnight tonight. A few more of those wind bars kind of collecting across the region. So the winds start to increase. We'll see a few clouds out there as well. That's going to help hold our temperatures up in the mid 30s to upper 30s in most areas. By noon tomorrow, we're as, as warm, if not warmer than what we have out there today. Then you take a look at later in the afternoon. I think all areas hitting at least the low 60s, if not the mid 60s tomorrow as those winds continue to be strong out there. Here's a look at our wind gust forecast stopping tomorrow morning 8 a.m. Areas in orange 30 to 45 mile per hour gust. That's not sustained, but those winds are gusty winds at times out there actually goes decreases a little bit. I should say tomorrow afternoon Then we hit Thursday uh, late Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. What we have for those winds picking up once again. This goes right through Thursday afternoon. We even saw a little red in there indicating some gusts potentially at 45 to up to 60 miles per hour. We'll say 45 plus maybe 50 in some of those areas. Wind trend, wind gusts 35 to 40 Wednesday, 40 plus on Thursday. A little bit less decreasing winds on Friday at 25 miles per hour. Those highs tomorrow again, low 60s, mid 60s. How about precipitation chances Friday into early Saturday and then again on Monday? Not a big chance of rain and certainly not a lot of rain. We can use it. Check out the high 66, 74, 67 the next three days. Then we're back up to 72, Oof. 71 on Sunday and Monday. Sounds good. Thanks, Russ. Yeah.